Hey guys, good to see you. So today's video is going to be all about how to take impressions for implant prosthesis. We all know that dental implantology is a prosthetically driven branch of dentistry. It is extremely important to record the spatial relationship of an implant accurately so as to have successful prosthetic loading. An implant level impression can either be made using an open tray or a closed tray. So let's go ahead and have a look at how these impressions are made. So this is a case where a biodenta implant was placed in the lower six around three months ago. As you can see, there is a gingival form of place which I'm going to remove in order to make a closed tray implant level impression. Notice how I have a piece of floss tied around my hex driver which will prevent any accident. You can also see that there is a nice collar formed around the implant. So this is what the closed tray impression coping looks like. So I am now going to seat the impression post onto the implant and tighten the screw. I will also place this impression cap on top of the transfer coping. This cap will be picked up along with the impression. It is extremely important to take an IOPA at this stage to check the fit of the coping with the implant. You should not be able to see a gap there. Now it's time to take the impression. This is the usual impression tray that is used routinely. These closed tray impressions are great for single tooth implants and maybe a couple of implants with good parallelism. They are also great for patients who have a limited mouth opening which makes the open tray impression a little difficult. So once the impression is done, the impression gap is picked up along with the impression. I will now remove the impression coping from the implant and I will attach the lab analog to this and seat it back into the impression onto the impression cap and the rest will be done in the laboratory. And don't forget to put the healing abutment back onto the implant. Now this is another case where I will take an open tray implant level impression for another biodenta implant. Notice how I have a piece of floss tied around my hex driver which will prevent any accident. You can also see that there is a nice collar formed around the implant. I'm going to take an open tray impression post of the corresponding size. In this case it is a B2. This is what the impression post basically looks like. These slots that you see here will enable this post to be embedded into the impression material. The screw here will project outside the tray and once the impression is set, the screw will be opened up and the impression post can be picked up with the impression. So I am now going to seat the impression post onto the implant and tighten the screw. And as usual, I will take an IOPA to verify complete seating. After verifying that, I will try in my impression tray. You can see that I have made an opening on the impression tray with some micro motor burst so that the screw can project out. That's the reason it's called an open tray impression. I will then syringe some light body around the impression post while my assistant loads the tray with putty. I will now just seat the tray in. You see all that material coming out? I will just wipe it away to expose the screw. Once the material is set, I will use a hex driver to loosen the screw and remove the impression. You can see that the apartment has been picked up along with this impression. All I need to do now is attach the lab analog to the impression post and send this to the lab where this impression will be poured and processed further. These open tray impressions are considered more accurate especially when there are multiple and non-parallel implants. Because they are picked up along with the impression, it reduces the chances of distortion drastically. Here I have a smart abutment and a crown fabricated with this particular impression. This is a transfer jig which I will use to orient the abutment correctly onto the implant. I will now tighten the abutment screw and remove the jig. As you can see, this smart abutment is anatomic resembling a molar tooth. I shall now try in the crown onto the smart abutment. At this stage, the occlusion can be verified and adjusted if required. The crown can be cemented after torquing the abutment. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please write in your comments and questions at the email address flashing on your screen. Also let us know if you want us to feature a particular procedure in the upcoming episodes. This is Dr. Mahesh Jagwani signing off until next week. Keep watching.